Okay, here we go. Uh, this graph I pulled from the Desmos Online Graphing Calculator. <clears throat> it shows the axis of revolution as y equals 2.5, the dotted purple line. And this is this is a portion of the graph of y equals e to the minus x. And this is the graph of y equals 1 minus e to the minus x. So this is the region that we're going to rotate about the horizontal line, y equals 2.5. Uh, apparently, the washer method will be much easier to use than the shell method, although I'm going to provide a link to the Desmos graph where I got this, where I also calculate the region or the volume of revolution uh, using the shell method. And you see it's quite a bit more complicated. Uh, if you have to find this point of intersection manually, uh, we have to find the point of intersection of those two curves I've kind of done right here by setting these values equal to each other, multiplying through by e to the x, and then taking the logarithm of both sides to get x is the log of 2, which is uh, this value right here, natural log of 2. And so I've drawn a typical shell right here from the axis, uh, perpendicular to the axis of revolution, if I'm going to use, I should say, washer, not shell, a typical washer. Uh, is going to look like this, uh, where we're going to use the idea of outer radius squared minus inner radius squared. So the length or an expression to represent the outer radius would be this distance right here. But that distance is for any particular x in the interval from 0 to the natural log of 2. Uh, is going to be 2.5, take away this distance. That distance is the y value of this function right here. So that's why we say the outer radius is 2.5, the top minus the bottom y value. And that simplifies to 1.5 plus e to the minus x. The inner radius, likewise, or similarly, I should say, will be this distance, which will be 2.5, take away this y value, which is e to the minus x. So 2.5, take away e to the minus x. If we move to the next board, you can see how I then set up the integral over here. Pi times the definite angle from 0 to the natural log of 2 of the outer radius squared minus the inner radius squared. And if you go to the trouble of uh, simplifying this binomial, like I did on the previous page, squaring that, squaring this, combining similar terms, it all simplifies to this right here. So I'll leave that to the viewer. And then you take the antiderivative of that expression. You get minus 4x minus 8 e to the minus x. We're going to evaluate from 0 to the natural log of 2, multiply by pi. Um, in case you don't see how I got from here to here, I just pictured moving this negative 4 exponent up to here. The 2 to the minus 4 is 1 16th. And likewise, I pictured moving this minus 1 to here. And that became the positive log of 1 half. But e to the log of 1 half is just 1 half. And in the end, uh, I got this expression right here. And of course, Desmos will actually calculate the volume. You can see I got same value for both expressions, 3.85. Um, and I will very quickly take us to the Desmos online graphing calculator so that you can see what it looks like if you're going to use the shell method. You first have to solve each of those functions for x in terms of y, which there it is, x in terms of y. And then 
if you're going to use the shell method, your shells will be perpendicular or parallel to the axis of revolution. So you're going to have different expressions for the height of the shell. And that's what these are right here. The log of 1 over 1 minus y is the height of a typical shell in the interval from along the y-axis from 0 to 0.5. And similarly over here. Okay, so I'm going to end the video, and I will post a link to this graph in the answer.